so I'm at the point today where I think it's time to get onto Photoshop and start playing around a little bit more with the images of Josh and the ideas that I've been looking at um, over the last few days, days over here. These are all fine, they're all good at the moment. We've got I've got loads and loads and loads of different ideas, but what I've got to do is start actually putting it together to see how it might look as a card. So um, Photoshop is a nice easy way of doing that. Um, playing around with colours quickly and changing uh, backgrounds and text and all that sort of thing. So I'm hoping I can I can get something together which um, will again get get me closer to my end product. So here's the first go of it at the moment, um, and I quite like it. I'm, I'm I'm working on or from some of the drawings that I've done earlier, and. You can see some of the elements I've included. Of course, there's Josh, there's the bat, there's the bull. I've got the Pittsburgh Crawford's logo. I like this diamond idea behind him as kind of a um, a base for his for his image to be on top of. Eventually, I'd get rid of the the C here because it's you can't quite see it properly. Um, I'm also including dynamite sticks, these cartoon dynamite sticks, and these uh, lightning bolts. Um, now, there's a great there's a great quote by Buck O'Neill where he's talking about Josh and he's saying how the crack off his back was like a stick of dynamite going off. So I thought it'd be a cool reference to put put maybe some dynamite in as kind of a pattern. And also this uh, this electric bolt, this, this current, because Josh was planning to be an electrician. He was training to be an electrician before he um, became a professional baseball player. And I like the idea, you know, he was a power hitter, maybe hit over 800 home runs, it said. Um, legend has it he hit a ball out of Yankee Stadium and I love that idea of kind of electric power and, and how that reflects to the man and his story um, and what he might have gone on to do so I'm trying to include all these different elements to to figure it out so here's step one and it's it's coming on okay you know way to go uh, plenty of different ideas to try too so here we are with just the first one what I've got to play around with here especially is the, the layout. That's really what I want to get first. The colours important. I need to think about the colours, um, but that can come later. To, to First of all, what I want to do is get a good solid composition. Um, and for me, that means that it's filling the space. I've got my, my, my space here. I need to fill that space. I want to make sure my main focal point is prominent and... Um, and the focal point, I guess, the main point of interest. These sticks of dynamite, I've got to work out where to place them. That's kind of the next thing, is working out the pattern, how they might come into the picture. Um, but you can see that they're, they're not great where they are at the moment, but that needs a bit of playing around with. But we're certainly getting there with step one and, and design one. Another compositional device that's really nice here is the bat. Because it goes down the diagonal line here, it makes a nice, it really fills that space nicely. And it also gives a nice um, kind of plane for your eye to follow. Uh, this box or this diamond works well because it's capturing, it's kind of holding Josh within it. It's, it's framing him. Um, so that's a nice device there. And even the MVP and the, the ball here is just kind of stopping your stopping your attention dropping out of the card. What I'm trying to do is keep your intention in the middle here around Josh's face. And then hopefully you're, you're picking up on the things around it. But then you come back to Josh where you've got the photographic image and all the detail here. Now that diagonal is, is something you'll see a lot in paintings from, from all centuries, from all times, from all, um, all sorts of art. Um, and again, I've been looking at Cezanne over here and this great self-portrait, um, this self-portrait that he did. And you can see here the diagonal. There's almost a diagonal created here by his shoulder, by his head coming down the paper here or coming down the page. And again, this is the pattern that I kind of want to create. I'm going to be doing it much more painterly than a kind of graphic piece. Um, but this is the kind of feel where I could see my piece, my card going. So here we are with design number two, uh, which is okay. I like this. Uh, I've got the Crawford's logo and I've got Josh's head nicely framed by the, the ring of that. Now, I think I'd take out the text probably and end up putting something else there or just taking it out completely. But I've just put these balls around thinking it'd be kind of cool to frame to go around the edge there. But doing a little bit of research, Josh was a... You know, I don't want to just put the balls just on for no reason. 
I found out that Josh is a 12 time all star. So what I'm thinking is replacing these for stars. I have six at the top, six at the bottom, and I'll, I'll see how that looks instead. Here you can see 12 stars, 12 time all star, much better. Uh, and I've taken out the Pittsburgh Crawford's name, still got the colors in the circle, but I'm wondering whether I can put in the, the two teams he played for, the Pittsburgh uh, Crawfords and the Homestead Greys. Maybe I can put their names in this circle somewhere or somehow, but that's kind of the next thing. But it certainly works with the 12 stars much better. I can also now decide where I'm going to put the ball, whether it's going to stay down there. I need something really up here, but I'll have to get to figure that out in a moment. Here we are at the moment. It is rough, pretty ready, but it's okay. It's kind of working. There's a nice symmetry to it, which is, you'll see that a lot in cards as well. Um, and a lot in paintings often. And there's a nice symmetry to the way it sits on the page at the moment. Uh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. We'll see. More to be done. So here's the three designs that I've come up with at the moment. I'll just start this afternoon. This is the latest one. Uh, new photo, slightly different layout. Very, very rough. Needs a lot of work still. Um, we've got the circular design there. And then we've got the first one with the sticks of dynamite and the diamond. Um, they're all very rough. I mean, that's, that's essentially it. And they're, they're going to probably stay quite rough because all I'm trying to do here is get get work through the idea more and get my thoughts more together with what, what I want to do on the canvas and with the paint. But I'm very happy with the uh, with what I've got. Um, it's now time for a walkout and a brain break. Okay, what I'm trying to do now is incorporate the two teams in the Negro Leagues that Josh Gibson played for, uh, the Homestead Greys and the Pittsburgh Crawfords. But what I'm trying to do is either incorporate the colours or incorporate the logos or something like that. But you can see it's really hard to figure out exactly what the colours were, what the logo was, because, of course, these things change. And, of course, nowadays with... Uh, companies making their own versions. There's a lot of different designs out there, so I'm trying to do some research into what was the actual official um, logo, and especially the colour, because here you can see it's a much lighter blue, which also does seem to be the case in some of the photos you see of Josh. You can see this one here, or maybe it's this one here. Let's have a look. Yeah, and this one here, black and white photo, you can see it looks quite light there, which would suggest it's not a dark navy or black but more of more of that blue that was in the earlier the earlier image this kind of blue at the back here um so i'm trying to do some research to figure that out so i'm still here in front of the computer and i wanted to just quickly show you i'm trying some different images but i just want to show you something interesting here i've tried this image of him looking forward i love this picture of him it's a really iconic image of him and it was actually the one that I included on my Negro League Dream Team uh, for the portrait of him, including him on that canvas. But I don't like the way it... I mean, all of this stuff is in the wrong place. It needs a lot of sorting out if it was going to be used. But I just placed it in on this image just to see how it would work. And somehow it's too direct. Somehow I don't like the fact it's too... Um, not confrontational, but I think it works better with him looking to the side, more like this, where he's looking away and we're looking at him and his, his uh, legacy and the, the kind of in, the information that I'm including about him here. Um, so that's where I'm kind of, I'm kind of set on this image at the moment. I think this is the, certainly the portrait that I want to use. I did try the more standing, um, these sorts of things. I did try these more, but again, I found that filling the space of the card, the card shape just didn't, it just didn't lend itself to what I wanted so much where I think I'm, I'm going with this. Um, so now I'm really between whether I'm going to use this sort of circle shape or whether I'm going to use the earlier shape with the diamond. Um, next, I still need a lot of figuring out with a lot of this, but next I do also need to work out the colours because at the moment the colours are very much the Pittsburgh Crawfords and I want to include the Homestead Grey somehow. Um, so the question is going to be whether I take this to like a monochrome um, and include the logos of the teams or whether I 
somehow incorporate i've got the pittsburgh crawford logo color or include the logos of the two teams maybe here or here um but i'm trying to work out that's the next the next part of the puzzle to solve okay so we are getting there i think it's taking a while to say the least but a good design should produce a good painting and here's the two at the moment that i'm kind of really honing in on um this one's a bit cluttered it's maybe a bit too busy i need to simplify it maybe and this one is nice and restrained i reckon um i'm tempted to add a few more bits but i've got to work out whether they're really going to fit i don't want to overdo it and this one's just about okay but maybe it's a little bit maybe there's a little bit too much going on so i need to come back to that and have a look at it but we're getting there we've got two pretty strong designs i reckon um i've just got to work out Really, it's the colour now. It's going to start to be the colour. Um, once I get the layout as I want it to be, then I can work out what colours to include, where to include them. Um, and then finally, I can get on with the actual painting. 